वेलकम बैक एवरी वन एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एक्वा कल्चर अबाउट बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट सिस्टम ऑफ एक्वा कल्चर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सेलिनिटी इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री दैट इज फ्रेश वाटर फार्मिंग ब्रैकिश वाटर फार्मिंग एंड मरेन वाटर फार्मिंग सो लेट्स सी ऑल ऑफ दिस इन डिटेल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज फ्रेश वाटर फार्मिंग फ्रेश वाटर फार्मिंग इज अ फार्मिंग ऑफ एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स इन फ्रेश वाटर और जीरो सलाइन वाटर यू कैन सी दैट फार्मिंग इन पॉन्ड्स लेक्स एक्सेट्रा एंड मोस्टली दिस फार्मिंग इज इन लैंड बेस्ट एंड द एग्जाम्पल आर द कतला रोहू मृगल सिल्वर कार ग्रास कार कॉमन कार एंड फ्रेश वाटर प्रॉन्ट्स आर मेनली फार्म इन फ्रेश वाटर सेकेंड इज ब्रैकिश वाटर फार्मिंग ब्रैकिश वाटर इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ सी वाटर एंड फ्रेश वाटर विद अ सेलिनिटी लेस दैन थर्टी पी पी एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो अबाउट ऑल दिस वाटर सो इफ एनी वन इज हैविंग डाउट दे कैन दे कैन हैव अ लुक ऑन दैट वीडियो एंड लिंक विल बी प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स All estuaries, backwaters, creeks, and mangrove waterways are brackish water in nature. Simply, we can say that when the sea meets the river, there always forms a brackish water. Over 25 species of commercially important fishes, shrimps, crabs, and mollusks offer a wide scope for farming in brackish water. See, this is the photo of brackish water here. From one side, sea is getting connected to a fresh water, which is we can say lake, lake or river, and the estuaries or lagoons are formed. Third is marine water farming. Marine water farming is simply we can say that a farming in a sea or ocean. So. farming of aquatic animals and plants in sea water is commonly known as marine water farming or we can say it is a mariculture in mariculture rearing of commercially important fishes and shell fishes are done in open sea by installing cages and uh, you may be confusing about what is this cages so we can have a look about the cages in a hell we can have a look about this cages in next ppt this is the photo of sea water third is on the basis of intensity extensive fish farming system semi intensive fish farming system and intensive fish farming system so first we will study about extensive fish farming system and this system is usually a traditional system in which uh, we are uh, farming the fish in simply a pond or lake so extensive fish farming system is the least managed form of fish farming in which little care is taken so care is not taken too much just we are stocking the fish and leaving them to grow and then we are capturing the fish this is a traditional farming so This system involves large ponds measuring one to five hectare in area, with stocking density limited to only less than five thousand fishes per hectare. And there no supplementary feeding or fertilization is provided. We are not feeding anything. We are just leaving them, and simply they are growing with the help of natural feed only. so fish depends the yeah, other fish depends only on natural food and also in this farming farming the in, income generated from this farming is very less intensive fish farming i am saying and we are not getting a much output from this yeah so yield is poor usually between 500 to 2 tons per hectare and survival is low and the labor and investment cost are low in this system results in minimum income yeah that's what i said see this is a photo of extensive farming here we can see the pond and in this only the fish are stocked and uh, they are kept in this pond till they grows and then they are captured second is semi intensive fish farming system this is between the in 
extensive fish farming and intensive fish farming in between that okay so semi intensive fish farming culture system is more prevalent and involves rather small ponds that is between 0.5 to 1 hectare in area with high stocking density 10000 to 15000 fish is per hectare okay stocking is very high and uh, care is taken and uh, feed is not given just we are fertilizing this pond okay so in this system care is taken to develop natural food by fertilization without any supplementary feeding however major food source is natural food and yield is moderate and survival is high that is yield is 3 to 10 hectares tons per hectare see this is a simply a photo of a pond in this we are giving fertilization but we are not giving supplementary feed and uh, we are stocking the fish okay so the fish will eat the natural feed and then fish will grow third is intensive fish farming system intensive fish culture system is well managed form of farming and all attempts are made to maximize the production and this uh, so in this it is the it is well managed and uh, we are uh, making the production more it involves small ponds tanks raised fields with high stocking density of 10 to 15 fish per meter cube of water fish feeds completely on formulated feed here natural feed is given very less and uh, only feed is given is formulated feed and yield obtained is 15 to 10 100 tons for hectare and cost and investment is high the return from the yield of fish exceeds to ensure profit here profit is very high and investment is also very high see this is the photo of uh, ash farming intensive farming here see the roof is covered and ph is maintained and aeration is also given and uh, the fish is cultured all the parameters are uh, all the parameters are here well managed and fish is growing so here no investment is given now third is on the basis of fish species so it is monoculture and polyculture monoculture first so monoculture is simply the culture of only single species that is we can say let us culture the species rohu so we will culture only that species only so monoculture is a fish production system in which only one fish species is reared in a culture system the major fish varieties reared in monoculture system are the trout tilapia catfish carp shrimps etc here only the single species will be cultured in a single pond so monoculture of high value market oriented fish species in is in intensive system is a common practice throughout the world okay so the high value fish is which is market oriented and which has very high value in the market they are usually cultured in an intensive system in all over the world and the supplementary feeding is compulsory to ensure production so the second is polyculture and uh, is yeah, the polyculture poly means more than one so the more than one culture or two two species are growing together in a single culture or a pond so the polyculture system in which two or more different fish species are farmed or culture of fish along with some other aquatic animals like shrimps or pond sorry prawn species with different habitats and different food preference are stocked together in such density that there will be almost no competition for food or space here the species which we are stocking together usually they have the different preference for the food so they will not compete to each other for the food and space polyculture practice gives higher yield than monoculture under the same conditions for fresh water 
now fourth on the basis of enclosure here enclosure means the enclosed enclosed mean fully packed okay fully packed area so first is pond culture pond culture we can say the extensive culture which we have discussed earlier second is cage culture cage culture means uh, that uh, many culture we have discussed and uh, third is pen culture and fourth is raceway culture so pond culture uh, yeah pond culture is uh, similar to the extensive culture this is a traditional culture and see it is the most common method of fish culture in this case water is maintained in an enclosed area or artificially constructed of dike or bund where aquatic animals are stocked and grown okay so the artificially if the whatever the pond we are constructing or already existed pond in that culture is done and it is called a pond culture ponds are usually filled with rain canal water and by man made bores and they differ widely in shape size topography water and soil quality so this is a simple a pond is made and a fish is cultured in this this is called pond culture second is cage culture cage culture is rearing of fish from juvenile stage to commercial size in a volume of water enclosed on all the sides including bottom while permitting the free circulation of water see the cage culture is simply one cage is made in which all the sides are covered and only the water is allowed to enter so the water circulation is done regularly for regularly okay so all the sides are covered culture is readily adapted to water areas which cannot be drained and usually the cages are installed in the sea water sea area usually fish culture in cage is an innovative concept to exploit the potential of lake reservoir and river and pools okay so the large lakes or large reservoirs which have much high volume in this cages are usually cultured see here uh, you can see the figure diagram or photo of the cage here cages are installed in a groups and uh, species or fish which we want is red in this or grown in this so cage culture of fish and other aquatic organism is popular in many countries such as japan south korea china philippines thailand malaysia germany norway us and some of the countries where cage culture is well developed second is pen culture pen culture is similar to as the cage culture only difference is in cage culture all the sides are covered but in pen culture the bottom bottom side is open so we can say the bottom side is usually the natural ground so the pen culture is defined as raising of fish in a volume of water and closed on all sides sides except bottom see the permit form and this permitting the free circulation of water at least from one side so the, from the one side water will come inside the inside the cage and uh, fishes are grown usually in this pen culture this system can be considered a hybrid between pond culture and cage culture and mostly the shallow region along shore and banks of lakes and reservoir are used in making pen and closer using net wooden material where fish can be raised and in fish pen the bottom of the lake forms the bottom of the pen see this this is only what i am telling the bottom is usually open it is not a it is not a main man made but other sides sides are usually man made and the bottom is natural water that is we can say of lake or sea bottom etc and pen has the advantage of containing a benthic fauna which serve as a food for the fish and polyculture can be practiced in pens as it is in ponds 
the environment in fish pen is characterized by a free exchange of water with the enclosing water body and high dissolving oxygen concentration see this is the figure of a pen culture here see you can see this cage is installed but from the down the uh, down the side is open and the down get uh, down uh, sorry bottom part is of natural habitat Now fourth is raceways. So the raceway culture is defined as raising of fish in running water. It is a high production system in which fishes are grown in high stocking density. So usually what happens in this water is already running. So the water will be full of oxygen. So we can culture a more species high stocking densities can be done we can uh, culture more more number of species because oxygen concentration is also very high so more species can be cultured in this raceway races are designed to provide a flow through system to enable rearing of much dense population of fishes yes cmsf see this is the diagram of the raceways here the water is continuously flowing so fishes are cultured in high stocking density and also the raceway ponds are basically of two types first is linear type linear type ponds arranged in sequence the ponds are arranged in sequence okay uh, and uh, in linear type the volume of water entering each pond is larger as the same water is used repeatedly from pond to pond occurrence of disease in initial ponds may directly affect the other connected ponds and uh, second is lateral type lateral type pond lays are in parallel and in lateral or parallel type the volume of water entering each pond is smaller but a fresh supply of water is always ensured and no transport of disease from one pond to another see this is the diagram of a linear type and lateral type here from the diagram we can see that water is entering from the downwards and it is going to the pond in sequence see the for, for example the water is entering in the first pond and the same water is going to the second pond and the same water is going to the third point pond so and it is going outside so here we can see that if a pond one is having any disease then it will be transmitted to the second point right but in the lateral type uh, water is entering from the inlet and it is going from the going to the first pond but the same water which is freshly coming is also going to the second pond means here uh, water is not transported okay so this is enough for today we will meet again in the next video till then please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you